pizza, he's always there, fighting for freedom over land and air. G.I. is the code name for America's daring, highly trained special mission force. Its purpose? To defend human freedom against COBRA, a ruthless terrorist organization determined to rule the world. He never gives up, he'll stay till the fight's won. G.I. Joe will dare. G.I. Joe will dare. G.I. Joe. Daredevil as well, and he and I will talk about our chosen professions like a couple of best friends. Wow! That's his bike! Look no further, ah! you found me. I got a letter for you right here. Check it out, bro. Ed McMahon says you may already be a winner. Stickers! Awesome! And Seesaw Living Paradise! With plenty of sunshine and fresh air! Monsters and supernatural beings always hide in cemeteries. It's an unwritten rule. Maybe Bucks can build me something drier for his arthritis. He is over 150 years old, after all. Well, look what I have here. If it isn't the best-looking Longhorn in Cattle Junction, I sure hope a wrestler doesn't come by and steal it. Yeah, I want to personally thank Mr. Steinbeck for coming up with such an excellent excuse. It really comes in handy. Dude, Chit's notes help me breeze out of sixth grade English the third time I took it. Chit's notes help me get through the abridged version of Hop on Pop! Hello, Mr. Catfish. Catfish. I'm Mona, this is Lily, and this here is Charlie, your greatest fan, and also a fearless daredevil like yourself. Cat, 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 cat. cat I think what Charlie's trying to say is, hello, pleased to meet you. And he'd like for you to sign his autograph book. But how about the mission mast? The English seem to be tearing it down. Can we give up a mission mast? Then how about the bookshelves? What? Can we give up the bookshelves? You know, the ones from the reading room. Maybe it's one of those trick questions. You know, like a pound of lead and a pound of feathers? You're not trying to rip her off now, are you, dude? Cuz, nothing personal, but if I saw a picture of you in a spandex bikini, I'd be like blowing chunks the size of Detroit. Okay, it also says here you wield and deal more loss through Congress than any other president. Are you ready for the ultimate vampire versus spaceman high-flying aerobatics combat challenge? You bet. It's a perfect day for it. Nice and windy. Whoa, my number's like a lot higher. No kidding, Ton! Let's go next door and get some snackage. Great! We better get this suit to the dry cleaners. This is a job for Mona the Vampire, Zapman, and Princess Giant. Charlie, bring your Zapparama loaded with grape juice. Lily, bring your dad's supersonic stapler. You got it! Sure! That was funny. After we met Mona and Zapman, and before we go to the Battle of Yorktown together, we got lost on our way to your town. We know. Ask the squirrel for directions. Which way was your town? Well, you must meet John Andrew. And like Kiddington, who writes to your cone after you two met Mona and Zappin? Do you both know where you go to the Battle of your cone? Oh, that is where we are going. Your town. Going straight to the Battle of your town together. Yep, is the way you go straight to Battle of your cone. Good luck, and you gotta make it to talk to George Washington. Thank you, Squirrel, for making the game of riddles to both of us before. Yeah, babe. Thanks for playing game with us. Me and Lad Kiddington are off to a battle of your town. Now that's comedy. <laughs> So on 1781 at your town, the Imperial Red Coats have arrived. And today on the show called Hysteria, Toast has decided to see Mild Kittyton and Steeper the Horse. We're not happy. 
Hey, this tax is unfair. We won't pay. Like I was arrested for having bad manners, which is a very serious offense in Aztec society. Larry H. Patoltec managed to get me sold into slavery. Thanks, Larry, dude. You rock, man. I've picked $3 worth of silver. Potato. Ah, uh, it looks like the tea-drinking dude is coming this way with, like, a whole bunch of other dudes. Yeah, but don't sweat it. They look really small, so they're still pretty far away. Doesn't look like those guys have made any progress at all. Check it out. They're still really far away. Now watch me, horse. This is how you ski jump. Oh, total difference. Bummer. I'm right here, Your Honor, dude. Sorry I'm late and stuff. I would have been here sooner, but I couldn't find my briefs. That's totally bogus, Your Most Honorishness. I call Chochoyas to the stand. See, Mr. Nelson? I knew it would work. Oh, my gosh, Pippi! Pippi, look! That's right. I never taught him how to stop. Well, I'm sure he'll stop somewhere. And then he'll be really glad he learned how to ski. Although, maybe I better see where he went. Look no further, dude. You found me. I got a letter for you right here. Check it out, bro. Ed McMahon says you may already be a winner. <laughs> Stickers! Awesome! That's right, he might run over someone. Maybe he'll run over Banked. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Did anyone happen to see... There you are, horse. Well, no harm done. You deserve a snack. Excellent. That's totally crafty, dude. Whoa! You guys must be psychic. How'd you know I was a British man? Who cares? I think he talks funny. Where's he from, anyway? Mars? Check it out. You're still really far away. I'm here to get my bike fixed. Am I in the right place? Bro, do not go there. My number's, like, a lot higher. No kidding, ton! Let's go next door and get some snackage. If you want to use the skis, wait your turn. I got to rent it for another half hour. Yo, dude, the food court's awesome. They got chimichangas on a stick. Want a bite? Hurry up. That reminds me. Did I ever tell you about Hurry Up Hernandez? <laughs> That's what they used to say to hurry up. Isn't that a coincidence? Anyway, never mind. It's the spirit that counts. Yeah, but Bank's still going. You never know. Something unexpected could always happen. Jaw! A jaw! Righteous! Okay, maybe we'll give you a discount on some of them. Relax, everybody! Look what Frogo made! What? Thank you, Panama Teddy. You've saved hundreds of canal workers from deadly diseases. Not so funny now, is it, Ben? Wind's picking up. Whoa! Trick question! Uh, sorry about your noggin, Mr. Tesla, dude. Uh, about a million? Can we have our ball back now? It's 10 a.m. What are you, some kind of bum? I've picked three dollars worth of silver. We've got to get up to Canada's Klondike. Totally excuse us, Captain Dude, but it's time for us to clean out your quarter. Adam's movies are not bombs, man. They rock. Happy Gilmore rules. Hey, kid, good work. I'd have done it myself, only I had a dental appointment with my carpenter. We should talk about your promotion. You all deserve promotions, but I got something even better. This is starting to be a real pain in the donkey. Thank you! Thank you, General Washington! I call him Stairs in a Mirror. Sir, we have prisoners. You want them eliminated? Load the cannon! Demolition unit, on my signal! Now! What the? Now that's a kickoff! The tea drinking dude is coming this way with, like, a whole bunch of other dudes. Now, but don't sweat it. They look really small, so they're still pretty far away. <laughs> Those dudes really want custard. This might be a really good time to leave. Ah! And it's in the end zone for a score. And where?
we're back to the battle. Red coats are blitzing, Pat. It's a gutsy move. Let's see if it pays off. Come on! Play with somebody your own size, Torch! Load it. You're the general. Well, Emperor General, dude, doesn't look like those guys have made any progress at all. Check it out. You're still really far away. We've been standing under this mean old sun doing nothing but getting hot and hungry. Now come with it. Give us some custard. But solid, bro. I'll take a cookie dough deluxe with gummy worm sprinkles. Yes, no. We'll finish, coach! The job is done! No, no, no! <laughs> you stupid mutt! Why, I... I... Oh? After the Battle of Yorktown, Lyle Kittyton and George Washington have won the war against Charles Cornwallis and Benedict Arnold. Hey, remember dudes, no matter how you fight your battles, war stinks. Hey Captain, we just ran out of water! Land ho! This is the home of the President of the United States! hi -ya! If you want to use the skis, wait your turn. I got a minute for another half hour. Perhaps I chose the wrong side. I surrender. <laughs> Cornwallis and the British surrendered on October 19, 1781. The battle for independence was won. Like I always say, honesty is the best policy. I believe that, and that's why I cannot tell a lie. Oh, George, give it a rest, will ya? Huh? You're a politician. If your lips are moving, you're lying. That's so. Which is a very serious offense in Aztec society. Larry H. Batoltec managed to get me sold into slavery. Thanks, Larry, dude. You rock, man. Uh, frankly, I'm thrilled. Washington, Washington, he's our man. I'm proud to be an American. Water for everyone. On October 20th, 1781, John Andre and Loud Kittyton has returned to Philadelphia. If you ratify the Constitution, you can look forward to a civil war between the states, a federal bureaucracy that can't even deliver the mail on time, and enough laws to make your head spin. And so, the American colonies took a decisive step towards independence from England with the Articles of Confederation, a set of laws which held the 13 colonies together. Maximum thankage to Dr. Joseph Guillotine, one of the inventors of the guillotine and a nasty salad chef. Join me again next time on Hysteria. Till then, I am history. We are not happy. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Predict the show will now come to an end! I have done it again!